Welcome back to my channel! So today I'm kind of like rocking the side fish tail braid. I don't know if I look good in it. Is it good enough to be on camera? You tell me. This video I'm gonna do the book shame tag. There are a few questions that I have to answer and here they are. Name a book you haven't read because you know they will give you the feels. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Ugh. This book, I saw the movie after I read the book and I was just, my tears were falling down like the rivers. Oh my god, this may be a spoiler, maybe not, I don't know. The scene where Hazel was giving her eulogy at Augustus' funeral, that scene was just, my tears were just falling down like crazy and I was so embarrassed because I was with my mom and she looked at me and she laughed at me when I was reading the book I wasn't really emotional because I don't really cry for books I don't know that scene just made me cry I was just like on my bed crying down tears if someone were to walk in my room I was just like oh, I, I don't know what to say to them Name a book that you haven't read because of the hype. Now this book, the hype was crazy on booktube. If you guys have been on booktube for a while, you would know of the craze when City of Heavenly Fire came out. Because of the hype, I can't really dive into the book. And during that time, I was kind of reading City of Glass. When there's a hype, your genuine feelings can't be genuine. Other people have said a, a lot of things about City of Heavenly Fire and I just don't want to be influenced and I just want my feelings to be genuine. I just didn't want to continue the series because it's not genuine? Is that a good enough reason? I don't know. Name a book you haven't read because of the lack. I'm kind of guilty of it because I have been trying to read this book since it has been a year. Oh my god! It has been a year since I tried reading this book. This book is City of oh, City. See, oh my god, I got so confused. Clockwork Princess. Clockwork Princess is a book that took me the longest out of the environment. I can't talk today. Clockwork Princess is the last book of the Infernal Devices series and it is the book that took me the longest to complete. It's not even complete. I am still trying to complete. I'm like four-fifth of the way to complete it. I don't know. It's just the length. Maybe to some people, the length isn't that long. But to me, it takes a while for me to read the book. Cassandra Clare's books just takes a lot of effort because it's so long. But the effort, the commitment is worth it because her stories are really amazing amazing but I just don't know I just I just can't commit it fully I don't know I'm just scared maybe I'm just scared of how the story turns out name a book you don't want to read because of the author I I don't have an answer to this can I skip it I I'm gonna skip this question because I really don't have an answer Skip! Name a book you haven't read because you heard too much about it. Now this book is the last book in the Hunger Games series. Now Mockingjay, I've heard reviews about it and people say that a book isn't good. If someone say a book isn't really good, it already influenced you to think that maybe this book may be disappointing to read. But I want to commit to finishing the series because I have read the first book. I'm just scared that at the end, I'm kind of disappointed at how the whole series come about. I do hope one day I can finish reading the series. Name a book you haven't read because it's too expensive. I actually wanted to read Girl Online by Zoella but it's kind of expensive. In the bookstore it's 20, 25 bucks. A normal book is around 16 bucks so it's almost almost it's almost twice of the price. In a book series you haven't read because you can't find matching covers. Now I have the very first book of the Twilight series. I managed to get it at a good deal. I got it for like $4. It's actually easier to get a box set because you can get all the books in the series. Oh, and I actually want to get the whole Harry Potter set but there is so there are so many additions. Name a book or series you haven't read because you're waiting for other books. I haven't been able to read any contemporary book that I own and it's so frustrating because I keep wanting to read fantasy slash dystopian. Now my weakness is actually that I stick to one genre I'm not able to branch out. The only contemporary book that I've read is The Four in Our Stars which is the reason why I really love that book because it's from another genre but right now I really need to branch out. It's not really a book that I haven't read but the contemporary genre as a whole. Name a book you don't want to read because you have already seen the movie adaptation. Now this I'm kind of guilty. 
I watch a lot of movies before I read the book. But there's a reason to that. There's a reason to that because I don't really like reading in the past. I've mentioned that in my past video but right now I know that's a sin so I'm kind of reading a book first then watch the movie I watched Catching Fire without reading Catching Fire there's a whole long story to that because of the hype I didn't really finish the Hunger Games series my friend wanted to watch Catching Fire when he came out so I watched Catching Fire without reading a book that that is a very big scene. I'm not gonna watch the Mockingjay movie because I wanna kind of shove that at the back of my mind because I really wanna read a book. So yeah. Name a book you haven't read because you hate the cover. This book tag is hard. This tag is just very hard to answer. I don't know. I don't know. I really like a lot of... I don't really hate on covers. I appreciate all art and I appreciate that a designer put in the time to design the cover page. But if I were to answer this question, I would say that the only reason why I'm saying this is because I really want to read the books. The Vampire Diaries series. Watch the entire six seasons. If you guys saw the cover pages, it's basically like half a face. And it's like kind of icky to look at. But yeah! So that's the end of the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy my face. Hope to see you guys in my next video. See you guys soon. Bye bye.